Conditions in southwest Colorado are ripe for fire. It is hot and dry and fuels are readily available. Jamie Leary learned we haven't seen these type of conditions since 2018 when that area saw several large fires. Below average snowpack, warmer than average temperatures, wind events. These conditions, a growing concern for Tim Mathewson. He's the fire meteorologist for the entire Rocky Mountain region. We're forecasting not only for Colorado, but Wyoming, South Dakota, Nebraska, Kansas. And right now, he's keeping a close eye on one area in particular. Obviously, the area that stands out is southwest Colorado in terms of snow water equivalency and snowpack. The spring snowpack was low, which means runoff. That did not happen, and it's very similar to what we saw in 2018 with conditions leading up to the 416 fire. He says conditions line up with other significant fire years as well. And while snowpack in northern and central Colorado was average, fuel like brush. Those are drying out earlier than average, and those will be readily available to burn. And for the San Juan region? And we may have to wait for the southwest monsoon to develop to get more long-term relief. And that won't be till early July. I'm Jamie Leary covering Colorado First. And fire officials want people to be aware of the high fire danger before heading to the Durango area. Plan ahead by checking or calling local public land offices.